Hey, one and all, this is Super Zemus, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Last time, we made it through a bunch more of the Lunar Subterrain to get more treasure, and, well, now we're gonna get even more treasure. Man, how full of sealed weapons is this place? I mean, well, I mean, there isn't that many sealed weapons, but there's a lot of treasure. I mean, seriously, who leaves this stuff just lying around all, the pl all over the place? Anyway, more red dragons. Let's do this. Not gonna be too hard. These, these red dragons are not nearly as bad as the blue dragons, so... I mean, yeah, they're more powerful, but less annoying. I'm, I'm grateful for that. Yeah, Rosa and Rydia, they can just be on standby. I, I really don't think... Yeah, the red dragon isn't really weak to much of anything. At least I don't think so, so... Wow, you guys are not dealing that much damage today. Come on, step up your game, Red Dragon! These guys aren't just, aren't really doing that well today. Well, it works in my benefit, so... I'll accept... I mean, yeah, I know they're in the back row. They can only deal one damage to Rosa and Rydia and Edge, to an extent, but... Seriously, I mean, I, I'd expect them to deal at, le at least a little more damage, but... Well, I'm fine with this. I, I can I can go for this. The red dra If the red dragons want to be weak wimps today, then by all means, they have the right. As long as I'm winning, that's all that matters. Oh, Heat Ray. Whoa! Oh, there it is. I guess that red dragon kind of got mad for me calling him a wimp. Maybe I should apologize to him. Nah! That kind of scared me, right? When I said he was... They were all real wimps and everything. And he just blasted me. Holy crap, that hurt. I'm sorry, red dragon. I didn't mean to offend you or anything, but it's truth. Let's see, do I want to jump again? Nah, nah, I'm good because he's dead. That's my apology to you, Red Dragon. You're dead. How do you like it? Anyway, in that chest, we got Crystal Gloves. And as you saw, Rydia gained another level and she learned the Weak Spell. Uh, I went over that too. <laughs> More than that times than I can count. But again, Weak, it just, uh, when you cast it on an enemy, it makes them go down to critical HP. So, again, not that... It's really not that good of a spell when Rydia has it. I mean, it's just... <coughs> I don't know, I really don't care for weak. It, just why would I cast it when I could just kill them outright? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just... I guess I'm just not a fan of the spell, that's all. You can use it, viewers, if you want to use it, by all means. Oh yeah, and I forgot. Uh, I want to equip those crystal gloves on Cecil, because that is his ultimate gloves there. So, yeah, a little better for him. Yeah, these, the ultimate equipment in the game isn't th really that much of an increase, so it, it doesn't really, it doesn't really change anything, it's just, well, it is better. Not by much, but it is better, but anyway, anyway, there we got the white robe. It would be better for Rosa, so let me see here, Will is 83. Let's equip that uh, white robe for her. There it is. 83 will. 93 will. <laughs> oh man! 10 increase! That's crazy! I'll take that any day, viewers. I will take that any day. <laughs> man, that was insane. But anyway, uh, left. That's right. I want to go left. Left, we have another chest. More and more of these monsters. Well, at least it's not hard monsters this time. Here we got just a weak little warlock and a dragon fossil, but, or dino fossil? Is it a dragon fossil or a dino fossil? I hate it when games abbreviate. I think I made that clear in my Breath of Fire LP. I just hate abbreviations, because you never know what it stands for. I mean, you can guess, but it's still it still has a chance to be something else. I mean, there's still multiple... Uh, multiple things it could be, but, uh, yeah, I want to cure up Rydia there. She took kind of a beating from that fire, too. I could have casted Mute. 
Nah, it was only one warlock, so it really doesn't matter, but... Yep, pure pretty good. At least with Rosa with 93 will. Oh, crap. Jerk! Let's see how you like to die. Yeah! How do you like it? Well, anyway, that's that. Yay! And we get the final piece of crystal equipment for Cecil there, so... Let's equip that. Crystal Helm. Yep, again, a little better. Increases his defense by three. I mean, that is quite a bit, three. I mean, not a lot, but... I mean, it is a decent amount. Enough to change equipment. Blue Dragon, I thought I made my distaste for you utterly clear. Why do you keep attacking me? Anyway, there's nothing to the right there, viewers, but there is something in here. Now, viewers, I want you to remember this room for later. I'm not gonna do this in the main LP, but I will make a bonus episode on this. Remember that I told you about, uh... The one guy who... You remember the one guy you gave the rat tail to and he gave you the adamant? Well, in this room, there is uh, an enemy. It's only... It's really rare, viewers. A 1 in 64 chance of finding him. But there is an enemy called the Pink Puff. It's basically a... Je um, a um... A slime or a um, flan type enemy. Except they do not have a perfect defense. No, you can damage... The, actually, it's suggested that you... <laughs> use physical attacks against them, but the flans, uh, the pink puffs, I'll go over them, um, at a later date, but they, cause they are really rare, I'm probably not gonna show them off here, but actually, I'm definitely not gonna show them off here, but essentially, you just can run around this room for a long time, it can take you hours to find, um, I mean, not hours, but pretty much close to at least one hour to find the pink puff, it's ridiculous how rare they are, one in 64 chance, but, um, when you fight them, I'll, I'll do this in a bonus episode, I'll explain how they fight, because they, they like to berserk you, they play different music than the regular battle theme, um, it's a lot of differences between Pink Puffs and normal enemies, so, I'll do that in a bonus episode, but for now, I won't go over it, but, the thing with the Pink Puffs is that, not only do they have a 1 in 64 chance of appearing, but with that, a 1 in 16 chance of dropping a... Uh, an item called the pink tail now that the pink tail is essential to get the ultimate armor in the game the adamant armor so it's but it is really rare not only do you have the 1 in 64 chance of fighting him but also a 1 in 16 chance to get the pink tail so you could be at this for hours on end i mean i think the i think the, like a minimum you would be at this would be like I don't know, 10 hours trying to find this, so it is definitely not worth the adamant armor. But I will be doing a bonus episode on me finding this, these pink tails, and just going crazy on it. But, uh, that'll be for a bonus episode. I'll also explain other ultimate equipments and everything, but, well, I'm not gonna go over it now. Not in this, not in this part of the LP. Maybe a bonus episode, but definitely not now. They are just way too rare, but... Just thought you should know, viewers. Anyway, we get Artemis Arrows. Sucky. This is a new enemy, Fatal Eye. These guys are really dangerous. I would like to kill them as quickly as possible. And of course, they get Rydia. All right, um, we're gonna break out the Bahamuts. Let's go, Bahamuts. I'm gonna break out the Bahamuts here. Bahamut gonna go crazy. That is, if Rydia doesn't die while casting it. And now Kane is... As you can see, you see that timer on their head? That means they are going to die within that amount of time. Not fun. You want to kill off Fatal Eye as quickly as possible, so... Well, you know, your characters don't die. Yay! Thank you, Bahamut. I appreciate it. But yeah, the Fatal Eye, really dangerous there. Thankfully, though, he does not attack. All he does is use that count ability, but just so you know, just watch out for him. I kill him as quickly as possible, but anyway, there's a cabin, got the ninja star. Well, we could go over there and move on with the uh, dungeon, but instead, i rather take an invisible bridge over here. Yeah, if you go over here, have a secret passage going here. Yep, we are going into one of the 
toughest bosses, if not the toughest boss in the game, viewers. Yes. You've all been waiting for it, I know, I know. Ever since the beginning of the LP, this one boss. This one... This one certain singular boss, I know you've been waiting for it. I know, viewers, and no, it is not this behemoth. Yeah, viewers, you were waiting all this time just so you could see the behemoth battle. Nah, nah. No, you know the boss, viewers, you know the boss. I'm ready to suffer. Actually, it's not that hard, but it is still pretty tough. I mean, I, if I say it's one of the toughest, if not the toughest boss in the game, it has some, it has some crap on it. But, um, it is still a really fun boss fight, I find, but... Just so you know, viewers, it is tough. Very, very tough. Not tough enough that I'm gonna be suffering, but still, pretty tough. And again, it's not the behemoth. This guy is a pushover. Really wimpy pushover. Nah, nah, stand pat there, Rydia. You're not gonna be really much help. Uh, no, stand pat there, Edge. Now I want Kane to get in the air. Carry there, Cecil. One more blink, and we should be good. <coughs> Alright, let's go all out now. Yeah, I, I know I could edit these behemoth battles out, but... Well, I just wanna... I want you to know, um... What the, uh, boss is. Or, enemy, not boss, but I want you to know what the enemy is inside the chest. I did this in my Final Fantasy 2 Dawn of Souls LP as well. But I, I just want to make sure you know what's inside the, um, what is inside the chest. And besides, um, what was it, um, I forgot what I was going to say. It happens a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I want to make sure, because, um, when you fight the enemy and you kill it, the item you get from the chest doesn't show up after the battle. It shows up on the item get screen so you get the item basically the drop screen so whatever item it per se drops is the item that's actually in the chest so I want to make sure you know what's in the chest and um, what else some um, what's in the chest and what enemies guarding it so that's why I usually fight them not because um not because they're like new or anything but just so you know what's in it all right, just stamp out there, radio. We, we got you covered. I feel like this behemoth battle's going. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say it's going slower than usual, but that actually took a decent amount of time. So anyway, there we got another protectory, which I want to give to Ridia now. So again, the rune armlet is better for the magic, but I want the protect ring just for the pure defense and uh, other. Um, Elemental, um, or stat, uh, yeah, elemental or status, um, protection that the protectoring gives. So that's why you, that's why I actually have the protectoring. Not, not for the magic, just for the defense and the protection. So, anyway, now it's time. You know when it's a tough boss, when they put a save point right before it. <laughs> Well, let's rest up in this cabin. We do not want to die. Alright, let's get going. Alright. Oh, hey, it's that one, uh, sword we saw earlier. It is a sealed weapon. Two columns and an altar. So, it must be a boss. And before going there, let's see. Do I want to... You know what? Uh, wait, just a sec. I'm going to use an ether for Rosa there. Not that I really need it, but... Just make sure I'm at max for this, because fortunately I didn't, uh, unfortunately I got into a battle with a fatal eye, so I had to kill him as quickly as possible, so, anyway. Oh man. This is looking dark. Whoa. So it's his, it's basically like his kryptonite then? Well now we have to pick it up, but not before fighting one of the hardest bosses in the game. The Wyvern, or more commonly known as Dark Bahamut. Why is he so hard? Yep, no countdown, automatic mega nuke. 
Ow! What the heck, Wyvern? Not cool! So immediately thereafter, what do I want to do? Get to Rose's turn. Immediately. Thank you. I want to use Cure 4. And not die. And actually, now, viewers, I do not want to summon Bahamut in this battle. Because, well, first of all, I can't use Black Magic on him. Why? Because he is going to cast Wall. But I do not want to summon e Bahamut to get past that. Because if I do, he's just going to use Mega Nuke again. I do not want to deal with that. I mean, you could cast Wall on everyone and then cast Bahamut, so then the Mega Nuke bounces off of you. But, again, I feel it's just not worth it. Just ignore Bahamut for this battle. You are going to just rely solely on physical attacks and healing. And hopefully this does not kill Rydia, which it did not. Thank you. So, yeah, what Wyvern's going to do basically for the rest of the uh, battle is he's just going to cast Nuke on himself uh, for... And it's gonna bounce off of him, and that's pretty much what he's gonna do for the rest of the battle. Yeah, as, as long as you get past the uh, Mega Nuke at the beginning, that's all that matters. So, you think it's hard in this game or this version of the game, viewers? <laughs> Why don't you try the DS version? Oh man, I haven't played the DS version in so long. I gotta play that again. Wow, that did not deal a lot of damage. You suck, Wyvern. Yeah, so, essentially, what makes him so hard is the fact that he starts out strong. But, once you get past the first part, that's all that matters. Wyvern, after that, you pretty much have the battle. As long as you stay healed. Main goal right there. Stay healed. And he'll, you'll take him down immediately. But, eventually, Wall's gonna wear, uh, wear off. And at that point, yes, I knew it. When, you know, when Wall wears off, he casts Remedy on himself, and that's when you want to go and be able to cast... Let's go Virus. Hopefully I can get it off before... Alright. Alright, I want to get a spell off, uh, so... Before Wyvern, uh, puts Wall back up. Because if he does that, then it'll just bounce off, and I will be unhappy. I'll be an unhappy Super Zemus. See, so yeah, at this point, I pretty much have the battle won, so... Ha <laughs> ha! Unfortunately, also, Nuke also deals quite a bit of damage, so you gotta watch out for that. That's why I say stay healed, because you Nuke does deal a lot of damage. Eh, King should be fine. Ow, quit it. Thankfully, though, there is once in that great while that Nuke actually doesn't deal that much damage, so... Alright, we got him. Okay, maybe I made that look a lot easier than it actually is, but I did it. it. It's done. We get the Crystal Sword. Yay! No, seriously, viewers, the Crystal Sword is a yay. Why? It's the strongest weapon in the game. Let's see here. Excalibur, 190 attack power? Let's equip that Crystal Sword, shall we? <laughs> yes! You see? See that? It also raises his defense up too! Holy crap! Ultimate weapon in the game. <laughs> so yeah, that went well. So yeah, I guess I made that look a lot easier than it actually was, but... If you stay healed, if you just get in a rhythm with uh, uh, Wyvern there, you'll be fine. But alright! We did it, viewers! Got the Crystal Sword, fought probably one of the hardest bosses in the game. But what other sealed weapons await in the Lunar Subterrain? Are they as powerful as the Crystal Sword? Well, no, they are not as powerful as the Crystal Sword. But are there other sealed weapons? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is Super Zemus, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.